Uh, all right, guys. Today, uh, yeah, we got patching us today, guys. Look, I'm looking ahead of that. That made it a bit a little bigger. That made it a bit. All right, guys. Disregard the cowboy. But what's popping, y'all? It's your boy Blizzard. We back. Uh, we got patch notes for supposed to. I think the next patch that's uh gonna be happening for the game. Uh, when is this gonna happen? I don't freaking know. Hopefully, it's when the season starts. Uh, but supposed to be pretty insane. We got some Duraludons nurse, Talonflame nurse. We got a slight Greninja buff, I think, too. And yeah. So let's look over this uh, because this could be some meta changing stuff for sure because some Pokemons actually have been running rampant for too long. And yeah. So yeah. Like the video, guys. Comment. Subscribe. Red365. Subscribe. But let's look. Uh, so first we have Greedent with his Covet. Uh, said removed unstoppable but increased tenacity. That's pretty good. That's pretty good because honestly, I feel like Greedent Covet has been like OP since it like came out. Loki. Like, not even Haiki. It's been OP since it came out. And, like, they've never done anything to make it weaker. Other than, like, that one nerf. And even in that one nerf, didn't even make it, like, that big of a thing. Because he was still, like, running rampant. Oh. Oh. All right, all right. I just ate. And I'm, like, got, like, a food coma going on. So, bear in mind. I might yawn a couple times in this, but yeah, that's pretty cool that we're seeing some nerfs to Greedent because Greedent has been running rampant for a very long time and he's really, really annoying to play against. Like, honestly, like a really good Greedent can literally like ruin the jungler's game, which is not what I want to play. So uh, yeah, Blissey, we have Blissey, soft boil can carry up to four charges. That's pretty cool. If Egg Bomb is the other move, that's cool. Okay, shares charges with Egg Bomb. Egg Bomb now can carry two charges. Oh, shoot. Blissey just got, like, a huge buff. Goes up to four with Soft Boil. Share charges with Soft Boil. Starts Boil plus Safeguard plus is now learned at level 10. Egg Bomb plus and Helping Hand plus is now learned at level 12. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Okay. Okay. Blissey gonna be meta. I'm saying it. Blissey is better than me matter. I think I thought Blissey was already like kind of underrated as it was. But like Blissey was like kind of underperforming. But like it needed like a buff like this to actually like kind of get in meta. Like, okay. Let's think about it. She can still provide those insane hills now, but can do it more. So it's like. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. We turn. We turn. Oh, yeah. Could only hop in straight on Blissey next season, bro. No cap. We're going. We're going Blissey Wiggly, bro. That's the comp. No cap. But we have a uh, Dragon Pulse from Duraldagon. We have his damage reduced. And Stealth Rocks has some visual adjustments because it was kind of... Um, Stealth Rocks is a little weird. It was working weird last uh, patch. So, I feel like this patch is definitely needed because the game's kind of been stale for a while now, for a couple months now. Ain't nothing, we haven't had like a patch in a long... Like maybe like a month or two now. We haven't had a patch, which is really weird because you would think a game want to get patched like every like two, three weeks. You know, nerf some things, bust some things. Nothing like crazy, but like... Yeah, it's the end of a season, so we can expect some crazy things. Oh, so, yeah. All right, we got A9 Blizzard having an, an, an effect duration increase, so it lasts for longer, which is pretty cool. I like it. Probably going to be like half a second longer. Not sure. And then the longer then longer range, Aurora Veil is going to be nerfed. Okay, so. Uh, uh, an Aurora, uh, uh, A9 just got back good. Well, I, I don't understand why they nerfed her again. Like, she just got back pretty good, and they nerfed her again, like. A9 has been literally like the, the up, down, up, down, up, down all season long, bro. Like they cannot find a spot for A9. I say just leave her how she is right now. She's pretty freaking cool right now with both builds. But hey, if they don't nerf Aurora Veil too bad, I still think she'll be viable. So I, I don't think she'll fall fully out of meta 100%, but I think she's going to be pretty viable. We need to get some more freaking mods released now. We haven't, bro, who's the last one we had? We had Super, Bad Dorado Gun, but like, jeez, like, that's it. We need some Pokemon. We need a new one every two weeks or something, bro. Like, holy crap. Like, that's what we need. Who's the next Pokemon? We just had Ozzy. Oh, yeah, yeah. It makes sense. It makes sense. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. We are definitely the tire. All right. Talonflame. This is supposed to be a huge nerf to Talonflame. Brave Bird got damage reduced. Range reduced. It's Unite move. Damage reduced and cooldown increased. Thank God. Because Talonflame got oh, way too fast. Brave Bird did way too much damage. And holy crap, it's so hard to tell when Brave Bird is coming to hit you. You basically take like a billion damage, basically. Like everyone, if he gets like three of y'all in it. So like, it's like, what do you do about it? It's hard to really like play against. 
it's hard to really play against Wayward Talon because Wayward Talon is so freaking good. And like, he just dives the heck out of people for like three ninety nine, which is weird. So it's okay. I like the sound of that. Uh, East Lucario and E Speed got damage reduced. E Speed was really really strong. E Speed it was really really strong. Like a lot, like it was so strong that people would stop running Pup. And honestly, Pup was really good because you need to snipe like objectives and stuff like that. Like, but like, it was at the point where like no one was running Pup. I was like the only one running like Power Punch. Like honestly, but I run Power Punch for like that 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 like one v one type stuff. But East Speed was like team fight oriented. Like holy crap! Like East Speed was so good. So like it was like hard to like play against because like if Lucario hops on your back line, you can't kill him unless you got like a slow bro that can stun him. But even then, like he just CC. He literally would like get the back line, pop CC, and then what do you do? E speed resets again, probably. So it's like, what do you do? So I'm glad they're kind of nerfing the damage on it because I felt like it was a little strong. So yeah. Hoopa is going to be a very long. Oh crap, it's pretty long for Hoopa. Um, let's see. Uh, his trick, the range got narrowed, which means it made it skinnier, got a longer cooldown, and it says maybe decrease auto range for trick plus. Uh, I mean, auto range, not for trick, but just maybe decreases auto range. His autos is pretty long, but I don't think like his autos are that problemsome. Yeah, I put on though. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. All right. We got the HP recovery reduced shadow ball. Mm, okay. HP recovery reduced. Shadow ball stun duration reduced. Uh, shadow, I mean, Phantom Force, which is cooldown reduced, stun buffed. Okay, that's pretty cool. So Phantom Force got a buff, which is pretty cool. I like that. I'm probably going to try to get that. And yeah, Hoopla has a pretty, okay, so Hoopla, like, he got pretty much for the most part nerfed. For the most part, like, he got nerfed. So, that's good to see. And then we have Zero Roar. His Discharge has a bigger shield. Nice, we're gonna see Discharge probably fall back into uh, play some more now. Because literally no one runs Discharge. And I remember when that move was, like, so busted, like, that was literally a 1v5 move. So, but it was at the beginning of the game, though, when the game first came out, no one really knew how to play either. So, it's like, what do you do about it? But now people can kind of, kind of play him now. So, yeah. Good to see Zero Roar probably come back into play. Um, Age Slash boosted the attack. Uh, buffed the Sacred Sword. His damage increase, effect increase, and then his defense pin or knock up. All right, it's pretty good. Age Slash got a nice little buff. I like to see Age Slash come back. Age Slash is pretty fire. I don't like playing him personally because I think he's very, very unorthodox to play in this game, but he doesn't fit in this game, honestly. But who's, who says? Who, who knows? Yeah. People might play him, people might not. I don't know. But let's see. Now, the tree. Big boy Trevenant, one of my favorite freaking Pokemons ever. If y'all know me, my uh, original uh, sprite for like my my uh, YouTube like a long time ago was a shiny Trevenant, which was a white tree with like red leaves. Oh my god, I love Trevenant, bro. And because I was a Gen Six guy, so yeah. Let's see. And I've been playing him a lot recently, and I just love playing like Trevenant. He's just so fun, like boinking people with wood hammer. I just love it. Let's see. Branch poke damage increase. Slow increase, thank God, because that move was trash. Um, now restores HP curse damage to opponents increase. Uh, effects on users decrease. Nice. Uh, wait, effects on users decrease. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh yeah, that's actually good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. It means uh, self damage, self damage reduction probably. Yeah, that sounds best. That's what I was thinking too. Pain split. Uh, HP recovery increase. Unite move cooldown reduce. Thank God. So Trevenant is definitely gonna be a solid. From these notes, look like he's gonna definitely take a couple steps up in this next patch for sure. They like basically buffing this whole other kit that he doesn't, that no one ever uses. So that's pretty good. I like that. Love to see Trevenant used more because I actually do. I absolutely love Trevenant. And even if they don't even run that set, like dude, his his, his horn leech freaking wood hammer set like goes so bunkers. I'm telling y'all, goes so bunkers, bro. And once you like pop focus band, he's just like going in even more because like he's like, okay, you're not killing me now, basically. All right, Cramorant, Air Slash, got a buff, nice. Air Slash needed a buff. Uh, honestly, Cram's in a weird spot. Long as they don't like, Cram's so weird, but I feel like that's good because if they buff his Unite move damage, which is the next thing, and buff the cooldown on it, I think that's really fire for him because at the end of the day, Cram, I think Cram is literally like a double, he's like on a thin line from being meta and being not meta. That's the thing with Cram right now. Like, Cram is so, I think, and like, honestly, I've been, like, doing a lot of, like, work with Cram lately, and, like, having, like, some of my, uh, some of my people that I play with, we've been, like, going over Cram a lot, because we're trying to find a way to make Cram viable, and, like, it's not the fact that he isn't viable, it's the fact that people don't want him to be viable, you feel me? And I feel like Unite don't want Cram to be viable, because they say, they think Cram is going to be too OP, and 
I mean, when you think about it, he does have kind of a his ult was really good at the start of the game, and like freaking freaking surf freaking hurricane was surf hurricane went went dumb, went so dumb. So yeah, I like the sound of it. So yeah, I think Cram getting a huge buff is good. Uh, Greninja unite move cooldown reduced. Thank God we can get unite faster. That's really good. Uh, I think Greninja is really really nice right now. Honestly, I think he's really really nice. So. I don't think nothing really needs to be changed to him other than like maybe nerf Cinderace a tad. I think Cinderace has been running rampant for a little too long and I'm surprised he's still not getting nerfed. So yeah, that's really weird. So yeah. Uh, Azu, bubble movements, movement, slow bug, bug fix. Okay, so yeah. And then Whirlpool bug fix. Aquatone no longer ignores damage from shields. Nice. So they're just, they just like reworked Azu, gave her a little hot fix. And then this is the huge news. Buddy barrier of, bro, buddy barrier effects are reduced now. Guys, 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 do y'all know what this mean? Do y'all know what this mean, y'all? Buddy Barrier is finally getting nerfed. That is so huge right now. Buddy Barrier has literally been like a staple item on like every freaking body. And like, it's been running rampant for so long now. So the fact that Buddy Barrier is getting nerfed, let's freaking go. We're gonna get more item builds, more item builds, bruh. We go triple damage or people are just not going to run buddy barrier and run other items. Fine. Well, even though it's really not other items to run, I don't think I honestly still don't think unless they like drastically nerf it by like 50% or something, which I don't think they'll do. It's not going to fall out of meta. It's such a staple item. It's so good. So unless this is the only way I can say, it. unless they just completely like gut the freaking thing, like just him, him, you know what I'm saying? Buddy Barrier, I don't think it'll fall out of meta. And that's just my honest opinion because Buddy Barrier is still a strong item, even if you do nerf it. Like, what are you gonna nerf it? Like, by like 10%? That's not gonna be a lot. You still gonna get a fat shield. So, I don't know. We'll see if, when we get the actual numbers, but we'll see. But, and then Score Shield also has its cooldown increase. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Score shield is pretty good. So I guess, honestly, I don't think score shield needed to get touched. I think it was fine where it was. But yeah, guys, uh, that is everything. I'm over here effing up all this guts. But uh, that's everything we have for the upcoming patch for. I think it's season seven, but it's season four for rank. But it's season seven for like battle pass. So yeah, guys. Um, uh, if you like the video, you know what to do. Leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel, you guys. Uh. And I got another vid that just went up today, too. So check it out also. And yeah, see you guys.